it's important not to forget the work-based element because you are in control and you have to ensure that you are the one fulfilling the program, the, the training officers are there for support but in reality you're at this point you're more of an expert in your own discipline than your training officer is so it, it's really the, the onus is on you. The first couple of years there's a lot of social science, there's a lot of leadership and professionalism that's quite difficult mentally to um, train yourself to think in a different way but it's also a good lesson in time management, it's a good lesson in having to be very proactive about your own learning to work out for yourself what you need to do, who's going to help you and how you're going to achieve the work-based experiences that you need to complete the course. A department that's going to take on a HSST needs to, first of all, put some support in, in place, really allowing the student to, to take their study days, to, to give them some protected time or a protected area where they can work on their um, academic studies. The other thing that departments can do is be willing to introduce the student to, to other departments, to other areas and be open for them to come in and ask for help. Take as much opportunities as you can because hopefully there will be lots of them. However, I think you, you need to learn how to say no to some of the opportunities. So you need to decide what's more relevant, what's more important and go for that because uh, it might be tempting sometimes to go for all the opportunities that are in front of you, but then you'll either do less well on some of them or you either stretch yourself too thinly and then struggle to meet all your uh, targets. So take opportunities, but balance that with saying no sometimes. Also, it's important uh, for you to be prepared to uh, spend a lot of time working on this program, even outside working hours. So uh, some evenings, some weekends, you just have to do work, whether writing assignments or revising for um, exams. You have lots of deadlines. In between the deadlines, make sure to rest, have fun, and do something different. Find all the possible moments that you can to fulfill the work that's needed. For example, I have a rather long commute and it's been useful for me to do the work while I'm commuting. Think in advance what modules they're going to be learning about on the leadership programme and take some ideas to those modules and learn from those modules so that they can then take it back to their department. My advice to HSST supervisors is to learn about the type of individual they are. Some people will require more of a, an arm around their shoulder uh, and others won't. Make sure that the trainee has the freedom to think about things for themselves, but recognise where they're heading off in the wrong direction. So they will need some guidance, but it's not about doing things for them, it's about coaching them and making sure they're going down the right path. I would recommend enrolling on the HSST course if you are willing to develop yourself personally and professionally. There has to be an understanding that there is work involved, but ultimately it will be of benefit to you. The best practical tips for HSS, HSST students is to, is to embrace it. If you do HSST half-heartedly, you will not get the most out of it. So the best advice is to put as much into it as possible and the more you put in, the more you get out of it. If the student does feel that they need support, the, the HSST supervisor certainly, certainly needs to be approachable and to be able to give support if required. But I don't think that's the first stage. I think the first stage is to be hands-off. Let the, the HSST student become a master of their own self-learning and just to step in as and when it's required. Where you have a department that's inherently got a culture of freedom and innovation and support, the HSST will flourish for both the department and the individual. Mm -hmm.